drama box. Hey guys, how's it going? It's uh, the No XP Show, and it's Empty Chess, and I'm sitting here with Q's Tips. And we're going to talk a little bit today about the PlayStation um, event and some of the information that was given out. Um, we have two new systems to talk about, and we have a few other little things bobbing around. So, um, Q's Tips, I don't know if you want to start this off. Do you? I know you have the stats open. Sure. What do you want to talk about first? Should we talk about the Slim? PlayStation Slim? PlayStation Cheat? PlayStation Discount? Mm -hmm. They did this last time with uh, the PlayStation 3. I, I understand why they're doing it, but I don't really understand the need to. You know, they're, they're going to drop, take some of the, the bulk away from it and try to make it cheaper. I don't know if that's saving on plastic or if it's um, improving anything on the actual system itself, but... To me, it seems like a, a waste of time. They should just discount the old system. Yeah, I can, uh, yeah, I can understand why they brought out the the slim. Like I understood definitely with the PS3, but this time around they're re releasing the Pro. Why bother with the slim? Nobody wants a slim. Everyone wants the Pro or the Neo. I like the Neo better. Let's go with Pro. Yeah, if 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 I had to pick between the two, if I didn't already own a PlayStation, why why wouldn't I spend the extra hundred dollars and get the Pro? It doesn't make any sense to me. Or save some extra money and get a discounted PlayStation 4 that's already out. Yeah. You know, you're right in the middle line. I want new, but I want cheap. Why don't you go with the old? It's it's not gonna it's not gonna do anything better than, than the old PlayStation 4. And it's not gonna it's not gonna save you that much money. It's I don't I don't understand why why they're doing that. And I personally like the look of the other PlayStation more than I like the look of the Slim. Yeah. Well, it's it's probably just Christmas time coming up. New kids like kids who don't have a PlayStation yet. Parents that don't want to spend a ton of money. Don't understand what the Pro is. Don't understand 4K. They don't own a 4K TV. Not gonna get one. Let's get a Slim. Yeah. Just for cheap, right? get new people into the PlayStation family, that's it. But anyways, let's talk about the Pro. I know that they've uh, they've upped a little bit on their CPU and on on their hard drive size. So I think we're at a one terabyte hard drive rather than the 500 gigs that we have. I love that. I'm always switching my um, games around. I, I barely ever have four or five games on my system at a time, and I don't think I've bought a hard copy in the last two years. Yeah, the only hard copy I bought was No Man's Sky, and that was a big mistake, but <laughs> everything else has been uh, downloaded on the PlayStation Store, and I've got same thing, maybe four or five games on there, and it's almost maxed out. So. One terabyte, that's gonna benefit everyone, I think. I, I, I miss the old, the old days when you had those uh, hard drives that you could add in, like PlayStation actually provided you a hard drive that you could just slide in there and it would it would boost the size of your hard drive. Where's that? Where is it? <laughs> oh, PlayStation Forever. PlayStation Forever. <laughs> all in all, like the PlayStation Pro is good. The stats look a lot better than um, the, the original stock, but when they were showing this off, they're not highlighting the things that I wanted to see. The only reason I would get the Pro is to boost the graphics of VR. It would benefit the VR. They didn't show enough of that to sell me on the system. There's no no need. I don't own a 4K TV, and I don't plan on owning one anytime soon. So why get why get the Pro if it's not going to benefit me on the VR? Yeah, I do own a 4K TV. I just picked it up recently. Uh, <clears throat> Telus, my uh, service provider, is in my neighborhood, bearing some lines, bringing 4K TV to everybody. And so just for that, I'm kind of excited for it. I want to get the Pro just for the fact that I can utilize my new 4K TV. But other than that, if I didn't have it, I wouldn't be going out and spending the money just, just for nothing to upgrade a few games that we may or may not have to pay for. Yeah, the, well, the other thing, too, is, like, how many um, developers are really going to put, you know, a 1080p and a 4K option in their games? I know that's big for um, computers and stuff, but doing patches takes a lot more effort than... than um, it does on a computer you have to go through the processing through microsoft and sony and get things patched properly to be able to put it out in 4k so you're almost doing double the work to get the product in 4k and 
a downgrade um, 1080p. So are we going to see a lot of games in 4K? I think we're going to see those big top 10 games with with huge backing or Sony backing at um, 4K. But I, I don't think we're going to see any indie games at 4K or anything that's been ported over from another system on 4K. No, I think it, they're always looking to the future, right? Everything that comes out from now here on out, it's going to be in 4K. But... I don't see any point in trying to patch anything or update anything. Like, I'm not. I'm not interested. If I've played those games the way they are, and that was good enough. But anything coming out, I would fully expect it to be at 4K from now on. And uh, yeah, that's the only reason why I would get the Pro is if I now that I've got the 4K TV. If if games come out on the on the Pro that don't have 4K, then why? Why did they build the system? Why are they developing these games without that capabilities? See, one one big thing that I'm wondering is why they didn't put more in the system to compete with um, the Scorpio. You know, if you're going to do two, like they had this already set up. Not a lot of people knew about the Neo. You could have easily just talked about um, the games that are coming out, um, the capability of 4K coming out, and just focus on the Slim and held off and try to get um, get get the Neo. Or the, or the PlayStation 4 Pro up to the point of the Scorpio. Like, Scorpio comes out next year and it's, I think it's at eight teraflops or something. They're gonna have the most powerful system out there. And I'd love to see PlayStation um, compete with that. Like, have some something in there that makes, not that the graphics are even gonna matter on the gameplay. It's not gonna make the games any better. I have a feeling that they've, they've rushed the system. Right from the get-go, from the rumors of the Pro coming out, Microsoft was saying that the Xbox was going to be better. The Scorpio was going to be better. But I think they were trying to match the release dates of the VR, and they were trying to just rush it out. But I don't... I think, yeah, like that, was, I think that was going to be a mistake. Yeah, it was, like, it was like already set in stone what they what they had for specs. And, and that's what they... Yeah, because it is close, isn't it? I think it's... Uh, the release date for for the pro is in November, isn't yeah. it? Yes. Yeah. So, so shortly after VR comes out, yeah. um, if they do show a huge improvement on the VR, I will be picking this up. Like no, no doubt about that. But well, they have confirmed that the VR quality will be improved with the pro and with 4K. But but how much? We'll see. We'll see. how much right yeah um so during the event they also talked about something that i'm very excited about uh releasing an eight game demo disc for the the playstation vr with every unit that's sold which is which is really cool but i also think it might hurt some of their sales off you know, you know their day one sales some of the games listed are drive club vr playstation worlds um rigs Mechanized Combat League, Tumble VR, Battlezone, E Valkyrie, Wayward Sky, and Headmasters. I know I was gonna pick up rigs day one. I can I can literally wait to buy that. Give it a good you know, a good couple rounds because rigs is rigs is like basketball with um with mechs. So how how much can you leave out of a demo? Yeah, that's right. The demo might be good enough. You just play that over and over again. It's probably going to be the same idea as what the full game is going to be. I don't think there's going to be any kind of storyline built into rigs. It's just going to be online basketball, like you said. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I think it might hurt their sales. <clears throat> Giving uh, demos to some of these games, people who are going to test them out and might lose some interest. Hopefully it builds some interest. We'll see. They are they are going to have like a huge package, though. I'm, I'm very excited with... Uh the amount of stuff that's going to be available for the VR. It's a smart move on their on on their behalf to to put out like the playroom. The playroom I think has a good 6 or 7 games available on that. You're going to have the demo disc and anybody that bought with the bundle like I did is going to have the PlayStation VR World, which I think that has like 6 games in it as well. So there is a lot of content and I know that there's a ton of games that are already available that are getting patched right now to support VR like um, Drive Club and I think Project Cars you can get right now and then when it comes out day one I think they're going to patch it 
Um, so a couple of the games they also showed off are Mass Effect and um, the new Spider-Man games. I don't know a lot about the Mass Effect. I know it has a huge backing, but that game did look pretty good in 4K. And same with the Spider-Man. They look pretty good in 4K, so maybe the Pro, Pro will be nice. But will it make a big difference? We'll see. <laughs> Well, it's good that uh, PlayStation is releasing a lot, big package with the VR, because I think it's almost the only thing that uh, PlayStation's got going for them right now that Sony's got going for them. Like, everything else, all the other news about Sony lately has been negative. The uh, PlayStation Slim, what's the point? The PlayStation Pro, bit of a disappointment. The hype in front of that sounded a lot more, but all it is is just a resolution improvement. And then no Fallout mods, no Skyrim mods. Sony, everything around surrounding Sony right now has been fairly negative in my point of view, other than the VR. So I think they've got to focus on that, push the VR, get a lot of content, get a lot of hype around that, and hopefully that'll that'll save them. That'll push yeah. their sales. Yeah, change change the game market. Make make VR accessible for everybody. Put it out. Yeah. Lean on that. I know, but it seemed like before September, um, Sony was number one yeah i was ready to buy a neo before i even knew what it was exactly i, yeah, I, I didn't care i was like take it's gonna make vr better here take my money I yeah don't, i don't give a shit i was ready to pre-order exactly. after they showed it off yeah they shot themselves in the foot they oh, should have exactly. just they should just hold off they should have just given it a couple more months yeah did a little bit more planning and uh yeah like i said i think the pro was was rushed and uh they probably should just wait a little bit well i think that's uh that's what we got today for um, the PlayStation news anyways. Um, like always, guys, leave a comment down below. Um, if you guys want us to talk about anything, just let us know. Uh, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. And we'll be here next weekend for sure. <laughs>